this is Josie. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys and welcome once again back here to my channel. It is myself, Josie from AJ Creations. If you are new to this channel guys, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button and then get on over and hit the notification bell so you guys know when I have another awesome video for you guys. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to do a Minecraft centerpiece. I know I'm late. Minecraft has been out for like years now, but I finally got a chance to get to this one, um, to actually do one for a client. So, because I've never done it and I would love for you guys to try it, we're gonna go ahead and do the centerpiece. Like always, we are going to start with a four by four by four box. If you are new to this channel, don't worry, everything I use will be linked down below in the description box. A majority of things you can get from my Etsy shop. So these boxes are in my Etsy shop. And when I'm and when you guys do purchase and receive them, they are flat. So you it's a quick assemble. And then you have one of these. I went ahead and painted it black already to save time. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a styrofoam that I cut into just this little cube and glue it in the middle. The reason I like doing this is because while I'm working on the box or working on assembling, um, which the actual centerpiece with the dowel, the center is being glued to the center of the box and then it's drying. So by the time I get to the point where I have to stab it in the styrofoam, I don't have to worry about um, it not being 100% dry or it moving around. So that's what I do right away. And then I start working on the box. For the book, for the box, I went ahead and Googled this image. I went on Google Images and Googled TNT. I copy, I paste to my publisher and I make them to the size that I want. After that, I print and I cut. And I did, I went ahead and did four because I want all four sides to be covered. So what I'm gonna do is get my glue gun and glue all the pieces to the four sides. And I purposely do make the cutouts smaller than the box because I like that black to show. On this one, I do want the black to show. There are times where I do make it almost exactly to the size of the box, but for this project, I want the black to show kind of like an outline of the TNT. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like so. So I have my box ready and it looks something like this with all the four sides that say TNT. And as you can tell, I like leaving that little um, outline so you can see the box color of it. Also, before I move on, when you guys do paint your box, make sure you guys get the rim of the box. That way, if the tissue paper doesn't cover 100%, you can actually see that it's a black box versus the craft color. So I'm going to put that to the side and now I'm going to work on my actual building of the of the centerpiece. Now this one, I believe his name is Creep, Creeper. I'm not sure. But this one, I know when I measured it that it's going to, I'm just going to go to the top of the image like so. And then I'm going to put my thumb right there and that's just going to let me know or guide me to where to put, start the glue. And then I am just going to go ahead and glue it on. So I get one of these. Now this centerpiece is going to be a double-sided centerpiece. This one is really not that hard. Um, I do take the image and I reverse it near and then cut it, but this is a square. So there's no making sure that the edge, you know, when you cut that it's perfectly, um, almost the same cut because it was just straight lines to make this cut. 
I'm gonna go ahead. And this is how you get a double-sided image. Now I'm gonna get my, I did went ahead and Google Minecraft logo. And this one is gonna go like so, the other side as well. So this one, I do kind of want to set it next to the box to make sure that when I do stab it in the styrofoam, I'm going to have enough space to put the tissue paper. So it seems like maybe half an inch from the bottom of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and do, put my glue on the dowel. And then... It looks like so. Of course, I'm going to do it on this other side as well. Because this is a double-sided centerpiece. And I'm going to just make sure it's sort of even with my other Minecraft. So it looks something like that on this one. I am going to have um, some white showing from the other side. Only because obviously you can't mirror a word. It'll look weird. So you have it like that. Okay. And because I don't want it to be flopping around, I'm going to just add a dot of glue to the end of each um, cutout of the Minecraft. So it's not flopping around. Just a dot. Just a dot of glue. So then see the difference? Instead of it flapping around. It has one of those so as always if you're new to this channel this is something i tend to do i'm going to add glue to the bottom of my dowel as i stick it to the styrofoam and that way if anybody tries to pick up your centerpiece this doesn't come out and destroys the centerpiece it'll be secured to the base so i'm going to add some hot glue to the bottom and then do one of those Oh, it's coming out so nicely. I like it. Let me straighten that a little bit. I'm going to put it to the side because now it comes to tissue paper. If <clears throat> I haven't received at least more than 10 requests to show them, show you guys how to cut the tissue paper, I would be lying. So today, I'm going to show you guys how I cut the tissue paper. It usually comes in, I usually do buy in bulk, um, but this is not one of my overly used colors so i do buy this already packaged so what i do is i unfold and then i just line them up like so and then i crease it like that so it's folded like that right so then i find the middle obviously and I'm going to go ahead and cut. Cut, cut, cut. Like that. Then I'm going to cut, what was this called? The hamburger side? This side. So from the top, I just standing like, like this. I'm going to go down and then fold it and then cut again. I usually have my other good scissors and they're in where I usually built all my centerpieces. So I left them over there. So you have this. Obviously this is not the size I want. So I'm gonna get it, this becomes a little bit more difficult. So you do have to get them in sections because it becomes thick. So then I'm gonna fold it hot dog style, you know, the long way, cut straight up. And then I'm gonna do hamburger style and cut one more time. So yes, guys, this is how I cut my tissue paper. I do organize it when I put it away in color um, because obviously I'm not gonna use all this tissue paper for my for my centerpieces. So um, I do cor um, coordinate them in color and in boxes and then I, I do put them away. So we're gonna do it one more time. Like I said, once you start having the multiple cuts after multiple cuts, it does become a little bit more of a of a struggle like right there you sometimes don't get the middle so i'm just gonna pull it out and cut it individually and then go ahead and do it again 
So now I have my green. I already went ahead and cut my brown. That's the other color we're using. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and cut my baby green. And those are the three colors that we're going to use for the base. And because I don't want you guys to sit here again and see me do this process in slow-mo, the power of editing, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up for you guys. I always tell myself, if I can only work that fast in real life, right? So now I'm going to do the same that I did with the Jojo Siwa, uh, Siwa or Siwa centerpiece. If you watched the one um, before this, I'm going to get my, actually I'm going to get my dark green and then I'm going to lay like so on top of my, um, and take the baby green, put it on top of the dark green and then the brown is just going to cover the whole, um, both of those. Add glue to the side of the tissue. And then I'm going to go ahead and add it to the side of, of the box. So all this is going to be to the side of the box, of the inside of the box. Um, so like so. On You know, you can use any tissue color that you wish. To use as I always mention once you start personalizing it to your color your liking it becomes your project I'm just giving you suggestions on how I will make it you know since you know I'm doing it but if you want to do um, black tissue instead of the brown tissue you could do that or if you don't want to um, use this cut out if you want the actual body I think there's an actual body when I was searching this one and you could go ahead and do that um, it all becomes your project once you start personalizing it and it gives it that extra special touch. You know, I just give you kind of like guidelines of what to do if you wanted to do the centerpiece. And then, like I said, after that, it just all becomes yours. So I'm almost done here. And one more. And because this is three tissue papers in one, it does give you a more full look than if, you know, usually we just do the two colors or sometimes we just do one color. So I'm going to do that and then you do this. You see how nice this look? It does look super full, guys super full so that's it guys this is the way to do a minecraft centerpiece if you're doing a minecraft party minecraft from what i could tell is not gonna go ever out of style my son started playing i think since he was five i want to say and um it's still a big thing so if your little one wants a minecraft party this is the centerpiece to do personalizing your way and it makes it even that much special I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, I want to thank you guys for staying with me for this long. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment down below of any other future centerpieces you will love. And I will see you next video. Bye, guys.